Now in this video, I've got the NPN2 and 22 variable gain transistor circuit. Now I've got my transistor. On the collector side of the transistor, I've got a 10 millihenry inductor. On the emitter side, I've got a 100 ohm resistor. On the back of the transistor, I've got a 12.5K ohm resistor coming off the base and a 2.7K ohm resistor also coming off the base to ground. And I've got a one volt peak to peak sinusoidal input in series with a 22 microfarad capacitor. And the input signal have a frequency of eight kilohertz. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna find the gain of this transistor. Okay, now, the reason I call it a variable gain transistor is because the gain is determined by the XL, the inductive reactant, over the emitter resistance. So the gain will be the XL, XL over 100 ohms. Now the inductive reactant, reactants, is determined by the frequency. So, the XL equals 2 pi times the inductance of 10 millihenries times the frequency of 8 kilohertz. And that will give you That'll be 2 pi times 10 millihenry times 8 kilohertz. That will give you a reactant of about 502 ohms. So my inductive reactant five hundred and two ohms over my one hundred ohms and that will give you a voltage gain of 5.02 volts. 5.02. So, if I have a one volt peak to peak on the input,
and my inductive reactance is 502 ohms. Then my output voltage will be 5.02 volts. Okay, 502 ohms divided by 100 ohms, that gives you a voltage gain of 5.02, and my input is one volt peak to peak, so my output voltage will be 5.02 volts peak to peak. Now, I can also change the output voltage if I change the frequency. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the frequency to, for example, 3 kilohertz. Now, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find the inductive reactance for a frequency of 3 kilohertz. So I'm going to insert 3 kilohertz in my formula. So now I've got 2 pi times 10 millihenry times 3 kilohertz Now I have an inductive reactant of about 188 ohms So now I have 188 ohms over 100 ohms and that gives me a voltage gain of 1.88 volts. I mean 1.88. The gain, the gain has no unit. So it's just 1.88. Okay, so I've got a 3 kilohertz signal. My inductive reactant is 188 ohms. I have a voltage gain of 1.88. So I multiply my 1.88 by my 1 volt peak to peak. I will now have an output voltage of 1.88 
bolt. So you see here that the output voltage, the output voltage will change if, if you change the frequency, if you change the input frequency. And that is why I call it the variable gain transistor circuit. And this brings me to the end of the video. Subscribe, like, share. Subscribe, like, share. Thanks for your attention.